not voted for a Republican in a presidential election since Ronald Reagan defeated Walter Mondale in 1984. Mondale only carried Minnesota and the District of Columbia back in that landslide. Nevertheless, former President Trump is in the South Bronx as we reported tonight for a campaign rally. That is where we find our Robert Potsdam. Robert, is this a, an elaborate campaign head fake? Major, this is a campaign event that's happening here in the South Bronx on a hot afternoon, early evening, because former President Trump has to be in this region. He has to be in this state next Tuesday for his criminal trial, which I've covered from the beginning. So this is a, a location of necessity. They might try to link it to former President Ronald Reagan and his effort to win New York State. But this is not the New York State of 1980 or 1984. It's a deeply blue state. That being said, there are pockets of conservatism and Trumpism in the New York area. If anyone watching has ever been to Staten Island, they have their own reporting on that. There are Trump voters in New York, and many of them have flocked here today. I see a real enthusiasm here. This is in no way representative of either the city or the state. Robert, one of the themes that has come up, and I know the Trump campaign talks about this with some frequency, is the criminal trial in New York and the other cases brought against former President Trump in some respects may speak to long-standing grievances within the African-American community, the Hispanic community about unfair prosecution. And when the former president talks about it as aggressively and as regularly as he does, that might find some traction. What do you think about that? As a reporter, I, I, I always try to observe what's happening around me. And there's a lot of grievance among those here today.